Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in the airport CEO. Another episode. So yes, as you can see, we are following this aircraft because there was the requested service and there was a fuel and also baggage. So today we're gonna do this. And the thing is that we have the fuel service, but we have the AV gas, which is only used by the small aircraft. So the small ones in here, as you can see, this is in green. So we are refilling only those aircrafts, really small ones, but we are not refilling the aircrafts with the passengers. So today we're gonna do this, so we're gonna go to the R&D, and yeah, we got the baggage security. So now let's go and have the Jet A1 fuel. So yeah, we're gonna have the permission to get this, start this, and we have the three people, and we can start with the project group two. So we're gonna go with the floor construction permit. Let's do this, so we're gonna be able to get the escalators and all the stuff. We have the two groups that are researching for us. And in the meantime, because it will only take one hour, so yeah, I can just speed up, so we're gonna have it in a few seconds. We're gonna go with the baggage, of course, today, so I'm just gonna go and extend this area a little bit. I'm just gonna open it somehow in here, and then I'm gonna go with the terminal. As you can see, it's already researched, so I don't know, maybe... I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough space. Okay, we're gonna see. Alright, so they're gonna build this. We're gonna go to R&D. This is done, so we got the jet fuel. So now we're gonna need to place it, but first let's double check what we have in here. Remote stand, it's gonna be useful as well. Future, so yeah, why not this? And in here we're gonna go. And we have yes, so we got AV gas, and now we have jet A1 fuel. So yeah, additional depot and probably our refueling truck gonna go into the vehicle depot. So I'm gonna place it right in here, so really close. Alright, so we have the Jet A1 fuel depot, and as you can see, we have the contract done, so we can review the contract. So yeah, they are supplying us with AV gas and also Jet A1 fuel. Yeah, we got the refuel, as you can see. So yes, we got the fuel in here, which means that we need the truck. So we're gonna go and buy the new truck for the fuel. Yes, this is the new fuel truck. So we're gonna order this, so we're gonna just wait a few seconds. And we have also, as you can see, the baggage trucks. So we're gonna go and take them as well. Alright, so we got the car, so we got the fuel, we're gonna change the color to maybe dark orange. So thanks to that we all know that this different one, different version, it should appear in here. Yeah, we got the dark orange in here. Good, so he's gonna go and refuel, yes. Now we're gonna go to the vehicle depot, yes, this is correct. So once the new aircraft gonna show up, he's gonna go and refill. So yes, we got this. No, this is the other one. Hey, okay, we got the new aircraft. Okay, does not want any fuel. Oh yeah, because first, of course, we need to go into the operations and we need to have the Jet A1 fuel service enabled. So yeah, so this is very important to always remember that you need the service to be activated in the main panel. And thanks to that, you will be able to start the refueling missions. Well, let's wait until the next aircraft gonna go in here and thanks to that we're gonna start the first refueling process for the new Jet A1 fuel truck. Yeah, we got this. Alright, so let's follow him. Probably the, the last stand, yes. Okay, we're gonna see how much money we're gonna get. Damn, that was a lot, a lot of money. So yeah, I see that we had to have some good business with this. So yeah, this is done. As you can see, we have now on green. We're gonna have plenty of money thanks to that. And what's going on in here? Something wrong happened in here, as we can see. Right, the R&D is done. So now we're gonna go maybe emergency response units because you know if something bad gonna happen, then we have nothing. So we're gonna be in problems. As you can see, something is wrong in here. So let me just hear this. Let's go for the medium aircraft also, permit, useful for the future, so yeah, lots of research at the start, so now it's finally done in here, finally, good job guys, finally, so we're gonna go to the baggage, and we're gonna go to the baggage bay, and we're gonna create, oh yeah, it must be placed inside the secure zone, so first we're gonna need to make the secure zone, and go to the zones, and go to the secure, it's gonna be secure zone, then we're gonna go to the baggage, okay, yeah, this is perfect. Perfect the center. So let's build this and we're gonna need to make additional service road. 
probably go and connect it right in here and then connect it in here i think that we need the road in here inside so, so yeah let's check if they're gonna build it how i just find this all right so we got the baggage bay first baggage bay as you can see it's inside and also outside so yeah i think everything is in here okay but to start anything we need to cannot be up without connection to an aircraft stand yes so of course we cannot start it because we don't have also any cars to transfer the baggage so let's go to the vehicles we have here baggage trucks as you can see roofless roofless and here we have the with roof so i think that we're gonna go like i don't like two maybe let's take two uh, it's gonna be okay we're gonna have two two baggage trucks so they're gonna go and get into our probably depot in here in a few seconds yeah the first one is arriving yeah this is the baggage right unfortunately it's night so i'm gonna speed up this yeah this can be a little bit blockage in here but okay they are in here and we have the fuel depot and i think that i'm gonna just extend the road in here inside over the grass not sure if that's gonna be a good idea but something like this maybe then connect it even on this side now it's crossing in here a lot of times but it's okay i hope all right so we got this we got the package by we got everything so first in here we have the station ramp agents per site it's two right now so two two so this means that we're gonna need ramp agents or ramp agents or ramp agents so let's go and let's check how many we have we have only two we're gonna need to hire two more or more actually oh yeah let's take one two and yeah four so we got four new ramp agents so that should be okay so now we can go and click on the stand and we're gonna have the baggage bay so we can go connect the baggage bay okay why the flight is so let's connect this oh yeah this is connected so I'm gonna try to do this with every hand. I get you. Cannot be connected because there's an aircraft. All right, but because it's connected, it's still not working because you know we cannot just have the baggage and what was gonna happen. We need the baggage claim area. So we're gonna make the baggage claim area. Baggage claim area gonna go and make it maybe in here still inside of our terminal let me just i don't know something like this so as you can see now we have because we have the floor permit we have the escalator down and escalator up so we're gonna make the escalator down so our baggage gonna go down and now we can change the floor to the bottom one and now we can just transport it right in here so I think that the baggage should go from here, or well, maybe from here it's going to be much shorter, right? So first I'm going to make the baggage down, because thanks to that I will see what's going on underneath. So yeah, this is how it is, so a lot of stuff to do. So yeah, let's make it and connect it. As you can see here we have some additional stuff, so the baggage scanner we can make the package must be placed inside okay this is not a good idea right now okay so i'm not gonna do this let's make the scanner all right you know what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna make the package scan right in here but the idea is that the baggage is gonna be scanned in here and then so let's make the belt in here it's gonna be connected in here and if it's something bad with this we're gonna go right in this direction and we're gonna make the baggage destroyer like in here let's connect it right in here and if everything is okay it's just gonna go down it's gonna go down in here we're gonna go to the bottom floor and then from here we're just gonna need to make the connection so turn left 
just the exit. Okay, that's a lot of long road, but okay. Okay, and now we're gonna go down. And then this way. And right in here, we're gonna go to the top floor. And instead of going down, we're gonna haul. Okay, good job. So now the baggage is gonna go up. Let's go go in here where we're gonna have the baggage collection area. So we're gonna make the belt. Let me think how to do this. Maybe something like this. so this is the idea as you can see so the package will go right in here then go right in here make the turn going around and right in here and going back so if you will be unable to collect the baggage it will go around and it's gonna go and make another turn so yeah i made some little bit more space for the people so i hope that they will not be stuck anywhere i hope so because you know sometimes it's crazy in here but yeah they got some space in here so let me just make some wall on this side just for this okay so this is going to be open space so they can just collect the baggage so this is done here we have the destroyer baggage destroyer so everything should be okay in here all right so this is how it looks right now and now we need to connect this room with the baggage bay so we're going to go and connect it with the baggage bay oh yes this is connected We can open this, so it is working, so unfortunately I'm still waiting until this aircraft is going to go leave. So yeah, we're going to need to have four ramp agents, we have six right now. So I think that should be enough, so yeah, this is connected up to here. All the stands are connected to the baggage area, so we just need to connect this one. And we have the baggage tracks, yeah, we got the baggage tracks waiting for new aircrafts, so we're going to see... You have the baggage, yes, you have the baggage, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen in here. So it is unchecked in here, why? Yeah, we got the... Because right now we're just accepting the baggage, we are not exporting something is wrong with the baggage <laughs> tray at the back. Oh yeah. You can see, ramp agent. He's collecting the baggage from the aircraft. Yeah, he's unpacking everything in here. So it's gonna take a lot of time for him, but luckily, as you can see, the car does not need anything, anybody. So it's coming back in here. It's gonna go to our baggage area where we have the ramp agents waiting. Yeah. So yeah, th there was only one bag. So yeah, back is. We're gonna see it's gonna be safe. Yeah. Okay. Green. Okay. So it went right in here, and as you can see, we're gonna speed up this. So yeah, it's a long road for the baggage. Yeah, and it's gonna go up in here. I'm gonna go to the first floor, and yeah, this is our first baggage, which is safe. So as you can see, Alexa Petrovich, she gonna collect the baggage. Okay, she cannot find the baggage. <laughs> I hope that she'll be able to pick up the baggage. We're gonna see this. Are she lost? Where's your baggage? Come on! <laughs> Got the bag, we're gonna see if they're gonna be able to collect this. Yeah, he was able to pick up the bag. But as I can see, everybody's collecting bags from here, so I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of odd. Okay, so yeah, I was trying to rebuild this, but apparently they just grouping in here and just collecting baggage. Maybe I'll figure out this later on. So I'm gonna stick to this. This is how it is right now. So yeah, we got the aircrafts, as you can see, kind of big ones. With a lot of people, six people around, not huge numbers, of course, but you know, something. And in here, of course, we got the hot, as you can see, I made it just with the seating for my people that are working in here. 
for the stuff so now it's a little bit more beautiful okay more beauty and in here as you can see we got the toilets one is for the guys and this is for girls and this is for guys as you can see yeah here we have male and here we got the female so i separated this to two different genders because i want to make the last thing in this episode which is medium stand just unlocked so yeah medium passenger you see it's a little bit bigger it's two stands but maybe i'm gonna place it in here so we're gonna just extend it a little bit and then we're gonna destroy it in the future in here so yeah this is the entrance in this side and here we have the baggage yeah i'm gonna place it in here and then we're gonna have gotta wait until it's gonna be built all right so this is our medium stand so as you can see we have the check-in and here we have passenger service agent so two so we're gonna need to have two passenger service agents so let's just double check how many we have so passenger service agent we have two so maybe just to be safe i'm just gonna hire like one more person yeah we got three and now we're just gonna make the queue in here a little bit bigger all right so now we're gonna have two people standing in this so now we're gonna connect the baggage bay right in here okay so this is connected now clear baggage bay no we have this done now we need to actually connect the baggage bay so yeah we're gonna go belt we're gonna go to the right and then we're gonna go up in and down escalator down okay. so the baggage gonna go down in here so we need to transfer it right in here so yeah lock, lots of distance but i think that we're gonna make also here some check for the baggage so the baggage could go in here yeah that's gonna be correct then it's gonna turn to the right side right in here and if it's going to be that baggage is going to go in here and from here we're going to need to have the baggage first down because first we need to see where the baggage is going to go right in here so we can go take and get this something like this instead of going down it's going to be going up yes this is correct yes correct very good so now we just need to connect this with this all right go long, long distance travel okay seems to be okay so we just need to speed up the time Okay, so we got the first check-in for the medium check-in as you can see. So yeah, first bags are checked in. Okay, very good. So we got the bags that are gonna travel and go and be in here. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen if there are gonna be some danger goods in here. Okay. Oh yeah, first danger good. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one baggage has been destroyed okay so as you can see this is our safe loop in here so we can actually uh, close it somehow in here with the wall so the passenger will be unable to see it just double check got some space in here but we're gonna be the entrance in here Gonna close this area. Passengers. Yeah, we're gonna make red so it's gonna be staff only area. But are you gonna be inside of this bay? Staff zone. So no passengers allowed in here. 
colony workers. Yeah, so we have the red divider. So it's going to be connected in here. Yeah, beautiful. But I mean, it's okay. They're collecting anyway. So this is working. So this is good. So yeah, we are extending our airport. As you can see here, we got some more beautification, which means that we can make some additional seating in here as well. Just to make it a little bit more beautiful. It's just one gap. So we're going to do the same in here. So more people can sit and wait before they're gonna have the flights. We can go to the decoration and check what we have in here actually. So we have the information displayed. So why not place it so our passengers will be able to see what's going on on our airport. So yeah, let's place it right in here. We're gonna have two displays so they will know what's going on in here and then maybe So thanks to that, they are going to be able to check what's going on in our airport. So they're going to be displaced. So yeah, I think that we're going to finish in here. In this episode, we're going to... Okay, so this is how it looks right now. So more information and more beauty for our people. I think that it's scheduling automatically. So if there's a bag, it's going straight into this check-in. And if there are no bags, it's going into the small check-in. So yeah, that's why it's... Sometimes it's closed and sometimes it's open in here. Yeah, with the stuffy thing that we have everything, of course we're using some janitors. But I think that we clean in here. Nothing bad going on in here, so yeah. So yeah, I think that we're gonna finish in here. We're gonna continue in the next episode. We're gonna try to expand with the medium aircraft. So yeah, that's gonna be a lot. And let's let's double check with the R and D. Yeah, so we got the belt loader. We're gonna do the last stuff today in here. And we're gonna get the Catering truck, why not? So we're gonna have plenty of stuff in the next one. Aircraft cabin cleaning is done also. So maybe let's go with the medium fuel depots for the future needs. That's gonna be very important for us. So yeah, we're gonna finish in here. We're gonna continue in the next episode with the medium aircrafts and so on and so on. Alright, so that's it for today, boys and girls. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're gonna meet each other next time. So boys and girls, have a wonderful day. And if you're watching this at night, then good. See you next time.